The first step in a cost system is to assign indirect costs to cost pools. A cost pool is a combination of various indirect costs that have a similar cost behavior. Cost pools that include resources with very different behavior will likely lead to cost distortions. There are no hard rules on how many cost pools to use. It all depends on the cost system designer's ability and the desired accuracy of cost estimates. Allocation bases trace the indirect costs accumulated in cost pools to performance objects. To get good cost estimates and prevent distortions, allocation bases should reflect how performance objects impact the total cost of resources in a cost pool. This is not always simple, and sometimes it is hard to find an appropriate allocation base or difficult to measure it. Then, it is necessary to select an allocation base that only approximates the real behavior of the cost pools. The rougher the allocation base, the less accurate the cost system might be. Traditional allocation bases include cost of direct materials, cost of direct labor, number of hours of direct labor, number of machine hours, square meters of manufacturing space. Once indirect costs have been organized into cost pools and allocation bases for each cost pool have been selected, the final step is to calculate allocation rates. It is done by dividing the amount of cost in a cost pool by the amount of allocation base. Imagine that the indirect cost in a cost pool is 79,200 euros and the allocation base is the cost of materials that totaled 48,000 euros. The allocation rate is calculated as follows. 79,200 euros divided by 48,000 euros equals 1 euro 65. This number can be interpreted as follows. For every 1 euro spent in material, 1 euro 65 of resources is also consumed from this cost pool. It is important to remember that if indirect costs are fixed, then the volume to estimate the allocation rates has to be normal capacity so that the cost system does not lead to a death spiral.